This is Mercedes F015 concept vehicle. One of the things it does is self-drive, although that's not so much of a brand new headline in automotive anymore. What it's really all about is how it will change the way we live with the car once it does do the driving for us. One of the things you can see is a very different shape and what they call a volume. Instead of a traditional three box design like most sedans, this is one single volume, kind of an arch roof thing. That allows them to push the wheels way out to the ends, very dramatically, and therefore in the middle is a large passenger space. Space has always been equated with luxury. That's why big homes are considered luxurious and small ones aren't. Then once you get inside, you can take back your personal time. Notice how the seating allows people to be social and how the whole car inside is upholstered with screens, whether it's that wide full width dashboard or the fact that every door and the rear transom have large screens on them as well that can connect to your existing mobile media, create augmented reality views of what's happening outside the car, or let you even change how the car is operating from any seat inside the vehicle. The autonomy in this car is not that groundbreaking. We have a number of self-driving prototype cars out in the world, but this car is interesting in that its front and rear are using graphics to communicate with pedestrians, cyclists, and others out on the road in a shared manner, acknowledging them so the car can tell the cyclist that it knows Thank the cyclist you. is there, even motioning a pedestrian to walk across the street or tell cars behind it that it's slowing or stopping. Now this car has self-driving assumed as part of its technology, that's a given. But what I find interesting here is that Mercedes is now asking the next question. Once the car self-drives, a relatively tactical question, what happens next? What's the strategic change in how we live with personal cars? The F015 isn't a vision of any particular future production car. Mercedes, like many other car makers, is on track to put largely self-driving cars into showrooms by 2025 on the outside. When you see those cars arrive, and see how they integrate with the rest of transportation, as well as the newfound time you'll recapture, you'll be seeing the F-O-15.